today's video, I want to show you a Photoshop technique that I'll sometimes use to smoothen out the details in a photo. And it's just using the regular brush tool. And I feel like a lot of times people jump into using the clone brush whenever they have to make adjustments like this in their photo, but you don't really need a clone brush. Brush, You just need the original brush. There's no detail involved in it, so you just, uh, you just use the eyedropper, you wash everything out, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's just jump right in here on this photo. All right, so this is the photo that I'm going to be talking about here, and I have it loaded into Photoshop into Adobe Camera Raw. So I'm going to edit it first in Camera Raw, as I normally do, and then I'll do the open, and it'll open into Photoshop. And I'll finish it off with showing what I mean with using that original brush tool. And the purpose of using that in this photo is because I was shooting this in a parking lot, uh, like a gravel parking lot. And so this foreground here, this is the gravel. And this is some of the grass that's just poking up through the gravel. But I couldn't get my camera low enough. It, like it's just not physically possible to avoid having some of this gravel in here. And I think it's kind of distracting. It just adds this extra layer that I don't really need. And if I were to shoot this any way that I could possibly do it, I would have loved to have the grass extend up all the way and cover it up. And so it's just kind of one layer here. And then you got the kill deer and then the background. And so first I'm just going to edit this photo real quick and bring it up to the point where I'm going to go into Photoshop and use the brush to smoothen out this detail. So I guess first things first, I just, I like to get my white and black levels correct. Or correct for what I think they should be. And when I'm doing the original base edits, I'm just looking at the entire photo. I'm not really necessarily concerned about the bird. So if this starts getting too dark and whatever, it's, it's just because that's not what I'm totally looking at. I tend to do separate edits for the bird itself. You can do a localized edit, so you can do the select subject mask, and then you can go in and do whatever you need to do here to bring out the bird a little bit. All right, so that's pretty much good. I might throw in some more saturation on top, and then I'll keep going with my base edits. Okay, so the bottom here, it's a different grass color than up here, and I think I'm just gonna fix that so it matches more cleanly. So I'm just gonna use a gradient mask there and you could do this several ways you could do the hue you could turn the tint more green and i'm going to probably do some kind of combination of things all right so that's good enough and then i'm just going to go into photoshop now and i'm going to deal with this gravel here and blend it in a lot better so that it doesn't take any kind of focus away from this photo and i guess while i'm in here i'm just going to do a, a quick crop so I'm going to open this into Photoshop and we'll get it going. All right, so in Photoshop, it's very basic. What we're going to do is create a new layer for our brush and then we can get into the brush tool here. And you want to make sure that this is going to be the hardness is going to be at 0% so that it has smooth edges because if it's hard edges, you're going to notice down there when it's when it's being applied and so we're gonna do hardness zero and the opacity uh, let's just start lower and then flow it's currently at three percent and that's probably good and so let's just get a big brush going here and we're gonna use the eyedropper tool actually first and to do that you just hold option and it changes the tool to the eyedropper and so we just select something that's in the general right color and we can just start brushing and seeing it be applied and you want it to be subtle you don't want to notice anything and also you want to keep on changing the color so you want to keep reselecting some other color and you don't have to necessarily be like making sure it's a different color you just want 
the blending to look natural. So if you just keep on doing it in one solid color, you can start to notice, because you notice how this is all just very slightly different colors down here. And you just want to keep up that idea as you're blending this and you're washing out the detail. I'm going to raise the opacity a little bit more. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And so already you can notice if we hide this layer and we bring it back, it's already washing out all that detail. And it looks pretty good right now. Again, you want to go for subtlety over just like hammering it in. Because I feel like when you're working on your own photos, it's easy to get carried away. But when you're a person that's never seen this photo, you weren't there when you're shooting it or anything, this probably looks very natural and they would never know you were in a parking lot. So that's one of the techniques that I'll use to edit my photos and wash out those details a little bit. Hopefully this helps. And if it does, go ahead and leave me a comment below, like this video, subscribe, all that embarrassing YouTube stuff. So uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.